This video will be a basic overview of cranial nerve anatomy in relation to the ventral surface of the brain and their respective functions. The first nerve is cranial nerve 1, the olfactory nerve. It is a pure sensory nerve originating from the cerebrum and primarily functions in the sense of smell. Another nerve originating from the cerebrum is cranial nerve 2, the optic nerve. Also a purely sensory nerve, it's responsible for the sense of sight or vision. The next group of nerves are those closely related to eye movement. Those would be cranial nerves 3, 4, and 6. First up, we have cranial nerve 3, the oculomotor nerve a purely motor nerve originating from the midbrain and innervates four of the six extraocular muscles, the superior rectus, medial rectus, inferior rectus, and inferior oblique. This cranial nerve is also responsible for innervation of the ciliary muscles, leading to lens accommodation, and also innervates muscles responsible for eyelid elevation and pupillary constriction. Cranial nerve 4, the trochlear nerve, is a pure motor nerve, it innervates the superior oblique muscle responsible for intorsion, depression, and abduction of the eye. It also originates from the midbrain. Cranial nerve 6, the abducens nerve, is also a purely motor nerve and innervates the lateral rectus muscle and is responsible for abduction of the eye and has a pontomedullary origin. We skipped cranial nerve 5 to conveniently review the extraocular muscles and the respective nerves, so we'll introduce it now. It's a large nerve originating from the pons, and it has both sensory and motor modalities, primarily functioning in facial sensation, specifically referring to the ophthalmic, maxillary, and mandibular branches of these nerves. It also functions in somatosensation to the anterior two-thirds of the tongue, along with motor innervation to the muscles of mastication. Next, we have cranial nerve 7, which also plays a role in taste. It also arises from the pontomedullary region, giving rise to both afferent and efferent fibers. It's efferent, or motor, to the muscles of facial expression, lacrimation, and salivation, and also has motor innervation to aid with eyelid closing and to the stapedius muscle of the ear. Cranial nerve 8, the vestibulocochlear nerve, also arises from the pontomedullary region and is afferent, or sensory, to the organs of the ear. It is responsible for the special sensations of hearing and balance. Cranial nerve 9, the glossopharyngeal nerve, has its origins in the medulla oblongata. Carrying both sensory and motor nerve fibers, it plays a role in the somatosensation and special sensation in the form of taste to the posterior one-third of the tongue. It is also responsible for somatosensation to the pharynx, and also plays an important role by innervating sinus and carotid chemo and baroreceptors. Its motor fibers innervate salivary glands, and also the muscles responsible for swallowing. Chemoreceptor innervation is a shared role with cranial nerve 10, the vagus nerve, which also originates from the medulla oblongata. It is both sensory and motor. Its sensory fibers provide somatosensation and taste to the epiglottis and is also sensory to body visceral tissues. The vagus's motor nerve fibers are responsible for innervating muscles used in swallowing, talking, and coughing, and also provides nerve fibers that are parasympathetic to the GI tract. Cranial nerve 11, the spinal accessory nerve, is purely motor. It originates from the medulla oblongata and superior cervical spinal cord. Its nerve fibers innervate the trapezius and sternocleidomastoid muscles. Finally, we have cranial nerve 12, the hypoglossal nerve. It is a purely motor nerve, innervating muscles responsible for tongue movement, except for the pallidoglossus muscle. And those are the 12 cranial nerves. Even though this wasn't a comprehensive review, this hopefully was an informative introduction into their functions and ventral cranial anatomy. In the meantime, you can check out the web application and study aid for the cranial nerves on our website at medschool.com cranial, where you'll find interactive graphics, quizzes, and clinical correlations based on the cranial nerves. Also, don't forget to subscribe, click on that notification bell, and head over to our channel to watch more videos on cranial nerves and other medical educational content.